speaks on command, or gushing like a grandma when your husky stays where you tell him to, be advised there are even more clever canines waiting in the wings. Dave Lensing's border collie, Shep, has skills that go beyond clever. He's employable. An unfamiliar vehicle pulls into the driveway. A strange man gets out and heads for the house. Like all good watchdogs, Shep sounds the alert. But the wag in his tail and the prance in his pounce give him away. If we could understand him, he'd probably be saying something like, I hope this stranger has something he'd like me to herd. Shep is a border collie. He was born with the instinct to gather. In fact, dogs like Shep have been used to herd ever since the Romans took sheep to Britain. And in the American West, where it takes seven men on horseback to move a thousand head of cattle, it's been said the same number of sheep can be driven by a single shepherd and one good dog. Dave Lensing of New Virginia has trained more than a dozen border collies. Eel. When we visited in July, he was busy readying Shep, Pete, and Tipper for the Eel. upcoming Iowa State Fair. I saw a couple of border collie trials and I was fascinated with it. My nature has always been competitive, uh, not because I, uh, I wanted to win necessarily, it was just I wasn't afraid to make a fool of myself. Right. The state fair trials, something I've been practicing ongoing ever since I got involved with the Border Collies. It is something that a farm boy would dream of. Sheepdog trials test the dog and its trainer's ability to lift or gain control of and drive a small herd of sheep through a series of gates and chutes and then into a pen. <laughs> then, recreating a time when a herder might need to tend to an injured or sick animal, the dog must cut away and hold for the handler one or two sheep. Only the top dogs are able to complete this final step, called the shed. That'll do, kennel. To get a dog ready for the state fair, the first thing you'd want to do is make sure that the dog is working the way you want it to, away from home. Any dog can look like a champion at home when he's on his own turf. Come by! One thing you should probably never try to do is think you actually know more than the dog. You know what you want the dog to do, but the how to do it really should be uh, left up to the dog, if at all possible. As a trainer, I need just as much training or more than what the dogs actually do. These dogs have been bred for centuries to come on to them in a nice, calm manner bring them to the handler in a nice orderly manner. Shitty. You're not necessarily genetically disposed to be a, a livestock person. I need just as much time trying to be around livestock, learning when's the right time to make a move towards the livestock, when's the right time to take my pressure away to give the livestock a chance to react. I don't. Those who've been at it for a while will tell you a Border Collie's instincts go way back to the days when dogs hunted in packs like wolves. The pack members would spread out, hunting for food. When they found it, their job was to herd the prey back to the stronger lead dog who would make the kill. Old timers say that ever since people and dogs have been working together, the shepherd has been playing the part of the lead dog. And the dogs, instinctively, are still bringing back the prey. Stand, stand, stand. People talk about their old trial dogs, how if the dog doesn't do something that they've told it to do, they know then the dog is just simply telling them to just chill a little bit. You know, I, I know what we want to do here, and, and I think you're going a little too fast. Shep! 
Shep! Shep! Shep! He took his own time and actually uh, did it right. I mean, when the sheep came off the corner then, they come under control and, and uh, easy mannered. developed a patience about himself that where he's able to to move back away from the stock to give them an opportunity to feel comfortable that they can turn around and walk into the pen without feeling like they're gonna get bit when Shep was a pup uh, we'd have just he'd have went in there and blown them completely out of the corner there'd have been sheep running this way and that way and 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 the judge would have just given me a big thank you for uh, for my time and asked me to leave At the Iowa State Fair, Shep's patience and Dave's dedication paid off. The duo's strong performance earned them the first place prize in the open class of the Sheepdog Trials. Come by. Stan! It was just nice to uh, see that all these long hours that I've put in has paid off and, uh, you know, I can be proud of my accomplishment. And, uh, we can consider ourselves contenders in the future. I get a real adrenaline rush when I have a dog under good control and uh, he's willing to hold his ground. When you see that interaction that's centuries and centuries old between a predator and the prey and to see that played out in front of your eyes. Stan! Come by! Boy. Whenever we have a successful pen, the minute I close the gate, I can see a noticeable change in the dog. He'll uh, he'll start to squat down. He gets a little submissive. His tail's just wagging. His his tongue's hanging out, and and he does really look up into my eyes. You know, like saying, "Aren't you proud of me?" Good boy. You're a keeper. Good boy.